Releasing a major Scottish independence march and a subsequent unionist protest cost taxpayers tens of thousands of pounds. Figures revealed through a Freedom of Information FOI, request, seen by the Glasgow Times, shows estimated policing costs for the two events neared at least £60,000, but the real figure is likely more. Around 80,000 independence supporters descended on Glasgow demanding Scottish independence on January 11. The All Under One Banner AUOB, March began in Kelvin Grove Park and processed through the city centre towards Glasgow Green. Police at one point had to divide the parade from a small unionist protest as they passed on Argyll Street. View from inside hashtag KFC hashtag Orb hashtag Orb Glasgow Colonel Sanders offers up a good vantage point as well as bucket loads of fried chicken, poultry leg, pic.twitter.com slash fudged. A rally that was set to take place after the march has been cancelled due to poor weather conditions. Independence supporters from across the country withstood the wind and rain together in Glasgow, despite widespread disruption to train and road networks. Organisers said 80,000 independence supporters took part, down from the 100,000 predicted by Glasgow City Council ahead of the event. Police had earlier warned of significant disruption and temporary road closures as a result of the march. Marchers carried salt tires, EU flags and yes banners as they walked through the city to the sound of drummers. The group also came face to face with a pro-union demonstration, which had gathered at the junction between Argyle Street and Union Street. A line of officers split the pair and the event seemed to pass peacefully. Now, some of the official policing costs for the day have been revealed. All under one banner independence march on January 11, 2020. The response reveals, some of the cost of policing the two events was £57,124. Please note divisional vehicles, public order protected carriers and motorbikes which was utilised has not been costed. It does, however, add that the costs are calculated on an initial parade notification based on expected numbers of officers needed per parade and are not updated once any intelligence overlay is made. It comes after we told on Tuesday that Police Scotland was reportedly preparing to double the number of riot police to deal with protest and marches in the city. The Scottish Sun revealed that Deputy Chief Constable Fiona Taylor was preparing a new wave of public order officers for its busiest year. A source told that paper that the numbers of specially trained riot officers would increase from 1,000 to 2,400 in the coming months. Ms Taylor's report said, to address current and potential future challenges, including the policing demands of 26 Colombian pesos, work is ongoing to increase public order capability and capacity. W. For more on this story, visit the news article link.